Legend of Total War here with part 172, I think, of my Europa Barbarorum Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. Previously, oh no, just little battles here and there, nothing worth noting. Okay, now we need to stop this attack. I've also decided that because these guys have been so effective, then I'm going to recruit another stack of, um, of horse archers, because they're, they're not expensive. They're the cheapest armies I've got. Should be able to train them quite quickly from regions where they can be trained. So yeah, it'll take them a while before they become really good, like them. But if I can get you know these guys to transfer their experience to them when they get damaged, then that would would help as well. Because these guys are almost maxed out as far as their skills concerned. Oh, hang on, um, no, no, this will be fine. Definitely do not want them coming out as AI reinforcements. I'm gonna see if I can do this with just the horse archers, but at the same time, you know, we've got another battle down in the south that I want to use the horse archers for, so we'll see. Anyway, all those those previous two battles that we had against these guys, thinning them out, that's where this is going to come in handy. If they had besieged this settlement earlier, um, maybe I would have struggled a little bit more with this. Okay, so it's a nice flat land. It's got trees, but it's not that bad. So reinforcements have shown up. So I just want these guys, just at the start here, to... Uh, to thin out of their fucking light cavalry back. Doesn't matter, just rip them apart. Rip, rip all their fucking units apart. It. Rip them to shreds, they can't do shit about it. Nice flat land, much more suited to horse archers. Are they getting the fuck out of here? Because that would be awesome, because we can kill, keep shooting them in the back. I think they recognize that they're fucked. They're even more fucked if they're turning around, because this is this is great. You don't think I'm gonna chase you down and kill you, you are mistaken. So this is what I'm saying, I need more horse archer armies, they're fucking awesome. Especially now that all the all the major horse archer factions are dead. So I've got horse archer superiority. Horse archers just wreck these guys because they're not that well armored. Shoot this guy here. How about that? You just lost 80% of your forces. The thing is, because we didn't kill their general, well, they've got two of them, they, um, the armies, are, they're still going to survive. But like I said, they're going to be very weak from here on out. It'd be good if we could kill at least one of their generals, but, oh, come on, maybe, maybe we can get him. didn't get him. Still, we lost no men. <laughs> Fuck me sideways. That that was perfect. Any battle in which you lose nothing and achieve essentially your goal, which was to, you know, lift the siege, perfect. They're gonna be reeling from that. Victory! 
Ready to ambush, my lord. We might even be able to catch them again this turn. Okay, come down here. And let's do the same thing to them. I'm feeling good right now. Just to, to see them get slaughtered. Look, if I can kill 2,000 of them, then surely I can kill 800 of these guys. The thing is, though, they had their backs turned to us. Then again, these guys will probably turn and fucking flee as well. But that's the great thing about horse archers. They can catch up. You know, when they when they run away with my other armies, I can't catch up to them. Pikemen are too slow. And the cavalry, melee cavalry, just the shit in this. Okay, not as favorable of terrain. But we'll make do. Maybe I should have stayed near the near the road. They'll run away before too long. Probably near instantly they'll run away. This battle is not in their favour at all. A little bit of friendly fire this time, but that's okay. Good stuff. Come on, pull back. so far 28% yep they're getting out of here now perfect let's shoot the shit out of them again it doesn't matter if we don't wipe them out completely just the mere fact of victory is good enough at the end of the day they didn't do anything to us yeah all the good experience that'll do you when you're dead I can't complain with those results. What's good about it is that we've had two battles now, and we're only into eight minutes into the video. It's great, nice quick battle. That's what I enjoy. I don't want to sit there for fucking 40 minutes in a, in a pike grind. So that's why I'm going to spam more horse archers, because they're awesome. Victory! Praise Ares! Yes, Stratigos! Now you can't run away this time. So you have to stand and fight. But you feel pretty silly right now because I caught up to you. So one of their generals has only got two men left. The other one, you know, still got a bit of bit of power. Okay, hopefully they don't go hide in the forest. No, they don't. Won't do them any good anyway. So try and claim some sort of high ground. Not going to make enough of a difference. Their light cavalry won't be able to resist our ammunition. None of them will. Got too much experience. Maybe if we were fresh horse archers, we wouldn't have done so much damage. But um, these are vi um, massively veteran armies, forces here. So they're going to come at me? Well, they don't have any other choice. I prefer it if you shot the Germanic Light Cavalry. They're the only ones that, I guess, pose a real threat to us.
that's it, you're gonna love shooting him in the back. I guess they're just hoping that I eventually run out of ammo. I've still got plenty, bitch. I'll be long dead before I run out of ammo. And even if I do run out of ammo, you think you're gonna win in melee? You're not. Come on, kill the bastard. Fucking hell, he was a pro. He's still dead. And I've still got half my ammo. What are you gonna do, bitch? One general down. They've still got another one. Okay, I've now killed 85%. If that general dies, their army's wiped out. They probably don't charge at me because they recognize there's just nothing that they can do. They're completely outplayed on this one. Yeah, he's dead. Like I said, you'd all be dead before I even came close to running out of ammo. There. Who is my Death approaches. Look for enemy agents to wipe out. Or hidden ones to, to catch. Why not? Assassin ready. Yeah, he's a pretty good assassin. Um, assassin. Originally hired to kill Roman diplomats. Okay, the thing is that uh, you gotta wait for your re- well, not wait for your reinforcements, but uh, you'll be stronger with them. Now, I remember, this guy needs to stay here for a while. Probably. There's no rush in a lot of the stuff that we're trying to do anyway. Okay, can you move? No, you've already moved you. Okay, public order here seems to have improved a lot, but we still need to wait for this to get done. They'll possibly make that attack during the intern, and I don't think I'll be able to withstand it. I mean, we can try, but of course we're going to try. I don't think there's much we can do, because we just need to consolidate for a bit. Oh, that's right. Over here. You can leave here, surely, now. Not the most cost effective of units, but also not the least cost effective. My lord? My lord? Yep, they'll maintain public order. Yes, Stratigos. Just that for that little bit of extra public order for now. Ready. Then I want you to land here. Alright, got two ships there. Well, that's fine. Ready. I think I'll send them to Kotan, which is Start. just a little town. Yes. I don't think I need all of these guys here. Sir, 
Wait, I don't think I can recruit in the cinema, can I? No. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, the cinema's mostly under control, so I guess it's fine. That needs to be destroyed at some point, I think. Whatever, maybe it doesn't. My lord, ready! Yes, Captain! Yes, Stratigos! Ready! Okay, you can make it back to Pergamon. Yes, sir! Moves depleted, sir! Yes, Stratigos! Onward! Out of moves, Okay, I don't think there's much else to do. If there is, it's not really important. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Retrain you. And then move on. So it seems like I forgot... Two of these armies, but it's fine. They At least they kept moving. So we want to issue multiple turn movement orders. Oh yeah, you think you're real clever, don't you? But you guys ran away from me last time, don't forget. Alright, so... This is pretty much guaranteed a defeat. I, I mean, unless... Unless we kill their general, we don't really have enough... Well, I guess we'll just wait and see. The thing is, I don't have a whole lot of faith in these particular units. They're just levy garbage. And of course, even though they've got a lot of levy garbage as well, the bonuses that they get make them such a cut above my guys. But it's fine. It's about time this war started anyway. Even though I'm not really ready for it. So, you know, we're on the defense on this war. Which is not ideal. I want to stay close to the town square, because even if I fought, fought them here, which is a high ground advantage, the problem is that my guys are still going to break, because we're massively outnumbered. At least there, they're not going to break. And if they do break, they don't have far to go. The big problem is, if they're out here, what they do is, if they're standing there, what they want to do is, they want to run around to here, and then run back. So they're running into, like, my, my, my enemy's um, troops. Good, they're taking a bit of damage by the towers. It's nothing major, though. It's only into their levy garbage. Now that the Romans are gone, the Gauls are coming to retake Gaul. They might win a battle here and there because they haven't, I don't think they've fought anyone in like 50 years. But they won't win the war. They don't have the manpower, they don't have the skill, they don't have the strength. So the towers did, you know, a little bit there to help. 3% is better than nothing. So if we want to win this, we sort of have to kill him. Which it shouldn't be too hard, because they, they are spearmen.
Alright, so they're coming at us from multiple angles. These guys here would be pretty easy to defeat. Because don't forget, they're under the, the command of a captain. They're getting tired. their general now into the, into the fight. Okay, what I want to do is I want to grab you two, just come over here a little bit. You need to run. Ah, getting shot a little bit. We don't have any javelins or anything of our own. You really need to not die. Let's stand over here. Gallic Light Cavalry and Javelins. Problem is, my guys, yeah, this morale's gonna be shit. Let's see if you can break them. God, this, these guys are so crap. Oh, well, they weren't here to defend the settlement, they were here to maintain garrison. Public order. It'd be a miracle if we could fucking kill their general. Already lost 20% of our forces. Yeah. Unless we kill this general, it's just not gonna happen. As in victory. Do you know mine? He's coming into the fight and now guys are breaking. Doesn't help. And they were close to the general as well. Focus on the enemy general if you can. He dies, we might stand a chance. Now, in case anyone's wondering why I didn't set up my units here. Well, what would have happened is if, if I had set up like half of them here, half of them there, they would have poured on through and my forces would have broken very early on. It's just, that's just what happens. I mean, unless these guys are experienced, this is not going to happen. Now, that would have been ideal if they, if they don't break, but like I said, that's what they do, they break. And see, they break. Unfortunately, the, the uh, town square here is sort of too small to house everyone. Back here, so you can stop routing. Doesn't look like that general's gonna die. Now it's kind of like it's not gonna make any difference because we don't have enough force to, to break them, even if he does die. So just finish this off. Is that my general or theirs? But he did die, it's just, it's too late. Oh my god. I got, we got a bit of a, god, if he had died earlier on in the battle, it would have made such a big difference. But right now, it's, it's too late. Well, at least we managed to get 20% of them. Gotta be thankful for the that at least. So it's not even a surprise. Like I knew I was outmatched on that one. The thing is with those units, there's nothing you can really do strategically. 
It's like, they're poorly armoured, they've got no attack, no defence, no morale. They're just there to maintain Garrison. best way to handle them is just to strike back with our armies. So, whatever. Um, settlement occupied. Okay, that's good that they occupied it. That means there's still people there to kill. Hmm, their armies are quite, quite large. I guess being in peace for 50 years, they've had a chance to build up their, their strength. No, they really wanted to starve us out. Bastards. If you attack them, they might just withdraw. Attack! Oh, they fucking ambushed me. Sneaky shits. But their ambush failed. It actually would have been quite devastating if it had succeeded. didn't, it's not going to work. Now, even though they've got a lot of archers, we've got missile superiority, I think, because slingers can beat archers. my guys closer. Since I outrange you, what are you going to do about it? If they want to come into melee. Alright, that's different, but that's fine with me. Don't let them get shot, get back. Quick pikes. Up. I'll drop the pikes in just a moment. Just in time there. Okay, I want you to be shooting specific targets. Get rid of their archers first, because they've got loads of ammunition. in over here. I, I wouldn't want to send them in just yet, but once we clear a bit, because they'll, they'll come back, uh, once we clear a bit more of them off, um, we'll be fine to charge in there. If we can kill the general, that would be good. He's amongst that Numidian archer there. Not really fuss if I lose a few slingers. Because we've got a high ground advantage here, um, they're really not doing very much damage at all. Okay, pretty much got rid of those archers. Shoot, um, shoot these Numidian skirmishers if you can. Or maybe these ones. A bit further back would be better. Okay, now that that's happened, here's what we do. Bonsai and motherfuckers. They can't do shit now. Let's get a mass rail. Break. 
Keep it with you, charge. Yep, good job. Just keep go chasing them down. We got this now. So we lost a grand total of 5%. Totally acceptable. Let's go, he's still getting pretty badly shot. Should get my uh, slingers to just stop now. Okay, I can wipe this guy out. Chasing down that one. Yeah, you need to go get rid of them. Stop them from shooting. That's the thing. Um, 82%. So we don't have that much more to kill. Come on, hurry up and break them. Stop being shit. More than 85%, so we don't need to keep running them down. Pretty happy with that, I suppose. Considering that was like an all-missile unit spam. Okay, if you're quite done with that, get him the fuck off. Oh, he's sitting on the bridge now. That's even worse. Alright, what have you come down to two at? Uh, not two at, um, Kotan. And then. So the other guy across the bridge, I suppose. Attack. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Now, I probably shouldn't fight this battle now because um, I don't want to cause a crash, obviously. The reinforcements need to come over here. Yes, Captain. Leaving the army. Okay, tough for you to pick up the, the reinforcements and send them back. Just on one boat, I think. So no need to send them back on two. Whoops. I think the sea area here is safe. Okay, good, we can recruit here, but I don't know if the public order will be maintained. Let me just see. If you were to leave, how bad is it? 60%. Yeah, it's not enough. We need to maintain further public order. So that'll certainly help. I mean, we'll just keep the population down by recruiting more of those Numidian losers. But this is a good army here with expensive elephants. I want to get them... Um, actually... There's another settlement over here. I think two ads. Um, I should try and find where it is. It's possible that it's there. And I'll send them across the desert that way to go go get it. Because, you know, even if I'm sending a powerful army to go get it, um, we, we need to take all the settlements anyway, even if it's not that valuable. Alright, so what I'll do here is I'll just do a bit of construction and then we'll end the video there. Okay, Pella needs anti-corruption. But it also needs to get to huge cities, so I don't want to build that just yet. Public order's fine, so I guess build that. Go 
good. Katayas has become a huge city, so we can um, increase the tax rate to... Oh, that's... Yeah, I can leave it at that for now. And lower the population even further. Actually, go back to Katayas. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Well, whatever, I'll just blow the taxes then. Media Lanham needs to grow. No real rush on it though, I think. What do we upgrade? That'll give us access to Celtic Slingers. Oh, I don't know. What about this? Yeah, go for it. Provides happiness and population growth. And I'm not too concerned now about the loss in trade because money's fine. More important to keep those those regions under control. Oh wait, Obi is going to need. Hang on, is isn't it recruiting? Yeah, it is. Obi is going to need more population growth because we're going to drain its people of population. The thing is, after I finish another full stack of um, horse archers, I might even hire another one. Because each full stack of horse archers cost me like four and a half thousand, comparing to like another other kind of stack, which is like, you know, between six and ten thousand, or even more than that, especially if it's got elephants in it. You know, they're really quite cheap. Even if they don't win all their battles, you know, they, they piss the enemy off a huge amount. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Killing those pricks. Thinning them out enough that we get to their settlements and they're undefended. Because all the men died out on the field. region here needs public order. It's only got a thousand people in it. It'll be fine. Yeah, it was fine anyway. Okay, so... Any population growth? No, I'd still go... Go with that, because we want to get the festivals in there. Where's this? All the way out here. Um, yeah, I want to fix up the public order so we can leave. Go take on the Iberians. Or maybe I should send him back to go deal with Gaul. Whatever the case is, he can't leave yet. Yeah, maybe he should go back and deal with Gauls, because the um, the Iberians, at least they're allied to us. Let's, you know, not o let's not completely overwhelm ourselves with too many wars. It'd be quicker if we just deal with the wars that we've got going, and then come back and deal with them another time. Anyway guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 173 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.